What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Roach Clip Podcast. This is episode number motherfucking 20. Is it 20 already? I'm right, I'm right here with my partner, Chorice. Hey, what's up, everybody? The Meat Peace. Wait a minute. I have to grab a mic for I can't be I'm fucking see. What's up, everybody? I'm not holding a microphone. No. What's up, Chorice? Welcome to the Roach Clip Podcast. This is one of your fucking episodes. Yeah, this was fucking... Um... This episode is also brought to you by Phoenix Cannabis. If you guys ain't reading that fucking magazine go kill yourselves because it's free you don't even have to pay for it yeah you, you fucking, fucking cheap cheap bastard pieces of shit just go to your local dispensary local smoke shop go even my your mom might even have a copy i was breaking yeah, I weed up i was breaking weed on the back page the other day for her yeah and uh because your mom likes to get high yeah so if you motherfuckers are out there like to get stoned like to read go pick up that magazine we're gonna start off this podcast with a nice cold fucking sublime beer a nice cold brewski that's what we do around here. We like to have a fucking cold one every time we have a fucking podcast. We're right here again. We are at the Chevron at the Wild Horse Pass Casino. We're staring at this fucking fool. <laughs> looking at this his, dude. He's is- trying to figure out what he's going to tell his wife because I think he just lost all his money. He, he used to smoke fucking Marlboro Reds. Now he has fucking a pack of Bugler there. So, Well, this is what's crazy. We're at the Chevron again by the casino. We're parked in the car and there's a dude standing <laughs> This dude standing right in front, directly in front of us. In front of us, like right in front of the car. He's with stretching he, with headphones on. He, he's got headphones on. He has like a Lance Armstrong type of hat. Yeah, he looks it's like, not yellow. It's blue with like white stripes on it. You could tell he's a D-backs fan because he looks all sad and shit. He does. A, he wanted to <laughs> pawn that fucking chain, but nobody wanted it. Yeah, he's got a fucking cricket phone. He's trying to see if it still works. He's got his bags with him. I think he lost all his money at the casino. He lost all, I think so, too. Should we ask him? Nah. I don't know. I don't trust that fool. He might try to rob us. Yeah, he might try to rape me. Hey, dog. I'll <laughs> rate you a fucking 10, Miko. <laughs> hey, I'm going to have a, a drink of this fucking cold brew, bro. Yeah, all right. Let's take a quick drink. I forgot uh-huh. how this fucking... This is a sublime beer again. The Mexican lager, because we're fucking laggers over here. <laughs> It's made by Alfred Smith or it's, some shit. It's what got is it? 5.2% alcohol. Yeah, Alfred Smith made it. He's fucking, he's a it says, cool motherfucker. Sublime it, Beer Mexican Lager, product of the U.S. It says crisp, balanced, and easy drinking. And it's a 5.2. Oh, I'm dripping. I'm dropping this shit all over the equipment. I, know, bro, this I better be, scoot this You're way. spilling money right now, local. I am. Yeah, that's like fucking 50 cents worth of beer. It's a 5.2 <laughs> by alcohol. So let's take another sip of this. All right, let's go for it. Oh, yeah. That's the, hitting the spot right now. Man, that beer is pretty fucking hardcore. I know it is, right? It is, dude. It's like right here. It says right here. It says Chris Balance and easy drinking. Easy drinking, my fucking my ass, ass bro. dude. <laughs> Fuck that. that shit, fucking. <laughs> it ain't no joke. If no. that's easy, what's hard, homie? <laughs> it's kind of darker than the average beer that I drink. It looks like you're holding flat tires, Pito. I know. That forgot right. fucking sublime tattooed on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the cans are black. And they have the little sublime, the little sun on there with the shrooms and all that bullshit, the demons or whatever it's inside. <laughs> yeah. Well, Chori- <laughs> Chorizo, uh, what, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? Homie? I wanted to talk to you about fucking this Phoenix Cannabis Magazine. Okay. Because right here it says in order to get your fucking Arizona medical marijuana license, you got to at least have something wrong with you. you okay. Know, they're not going to hand you a fucking license and say go smoke weed. And what are some, what, what are some of the fucking This ailments? shit right here, bro. Okay, you got cancer, glaucoma, HIV, AIDS, hepatitis C, severe chronic pain, severe nausea, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. I don't even know who that vato is. So he, dude who died of fucking Lou Gehrig's disease. So yeah, he died of his own fucking being. It says if you have difficulty walking, dizziness, drowsiness, slurred speech. Depression, lack of motivation. What the fuck? I got all this shit. So they're bro. probably giving it to everybody. That's what I'm hearing. No matter what, no you matter have, what, somebody has that in the world. Everybody no, you know has to have one of these things. It says right here, mira. Like headaches. my Theo has fucking HIV, and yeah. he qualified right away. And my tia, who's on fucking welfare, lack of motivation. That's what she's got. So if you're on fucking welfare, they'll give you a card r- right away. I got memory problems, but the <laughs> weed, but the weed's causing them. So what the hell's that gonna cure it? So you gotta go in there high. 
as before fuck. you ask for the fucking medical marijuana license. That's what basically that's what they're telling you right here. Paranoia. I get paranoid when I smoke. Yes, yeah. So what I do? See. Just go and give me a different type of mota. See right here. I get this one. Mood swings. My asshole was fucking itchy. I get fucking hallucinations when I drop. I get hall- Oh yeah, when I do fucking shrooms, that's Look what happens to me. Shortness of breath when I'm running into the weed spot. When you're talking on the mic. <laughs> 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 it says right here, your muscle tremors are shaking. I shake every time, bro. And cuando me la jalo, wey. That fucking <laughs> Freddie Roach fucking qualifies. It says kidney difficult to urinate. That's you all day. That's me all day. Fucking shitting yourself. For real? Is that on there? <laughs> no. <It's> diarrhea, fucking. <laughs> no, it doesn't say shitting yourself. That's the only thing night. that doesn't qualify you, huh? Yeah, I won't be able to What's make it. What's it say down me? there? It says side effects and drug interactions were not in studies that include marijuana. Dranabano hmm. and Nabalone. What the yeah, fuck is that? Yeah, I don't know that? any of that shit is, bro. That's all fucking... That's all fucking scientific talk, Yeah, it? but basically, if you have anything wrong with anything wrong with you... Oh, yeah, look. There's the stomach. Intestine, appetite, dry mouth, pancreatitis. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does say that. The lungs. Coughing it, or wheezing. Shortness of breath. Yeah, dog. Hell, yeah. Increase or decrease in heart rate. Hey, fool. I'm hey, not even... So, basically, if you're just old, young... Or fucking okay, just you, graduated from high school. I'm not even going to lie how easy I got mine. I went into that doctor's office. Okay, tell me how it went. And out. the Haina's just there. It's like a little fucking booty office in, in somewhere in Indian school. The girl's right there, the secretary or whatever. So yeah. so me and Prodi walk in. We're like, we need our medical cards. Did Prodi get his too? Yeah, and then okay. she goes, all right, cool. Fill this shit out. It's yeah. going to be 200 bucks each. Fill this paperwork out. Damn, she's already charging you before she told you yeah, to fill yeah, it out? yeah. <laughs> So then we fill it out, and she goes, but the doctor, it was like 10 a.m. He sees, oh, the doctor won't be here till, be here till 3. Mm-hmm. Do you guys want to come back, or you want, want me to just put this shit through? Yeah. And uh, the doctor will call you guys later and ask you about what's going on with you guys. For real? But she's, oh, as soon as you pay, we'll send this shit to the state. It said, don't even worry about it. Okay. Fucking, so I'm like, cool, yeah, just have that puto call us. I don't yeah, need to yeah, fucking yeah. see that full face-to-face. He's probably fucking high anyways. Yeah. You know, so... I go fucking back home. I'm waiting and waiting. I'm like, this puto never, he never called. And then my card just came in the mail. That's just how like easy that? it was. They didn't talk to a doctor. I filled out an application like you're fucking trying to get welfare. Mm-hmm. Just like that. You hand them the 200 bucks because 150 of that goes straight to the state. So the 50 bucks goes to the doctor. Because most, oh, doc- okay. most places charge like 150 bucks extra. They do? Hell yeah. Because oh, a doctor yeah. could charge whatever the fuck he wants. All these fools just rent little offices, too. Oh, they just rent nothing fancy, office. bro. Yeah. So then you just go in there and just fill go in there, the... fill that. And then, in, like, in Cali, the doctor saw me, fucking took my blood pressure. Huh. He's all doing all this bullshit. Checking your fucking toes. He's all like, oh, yeah, you need to fucking watch what you're eating, sir. You got to be careful. You look like you've been smoking oh, before shit. you got here, At sir. least it's about those a real doctor, yes, sir. Yeah. I don't he's know all... how the doctor I went to even looks like. He's all telling you to turn to the left and cough. Yeah, fool, and then, um, and, yeah, yeah like, it's all crazy, fool, how it's right, because in San Diego, I got one, like, three years ago. Yeah. And I, I got the number for my brother and my and my cousins. They all went and got their card for, like, 50 bucks. Yeah. And there has this Jamaican lady, bro. Huh. So She's I, like, hey, man. No, it's so <laughs> like, I go to the office, I call, so we show up, and there's a fucking white lady. What? And she stamps my card and everything, so then I go back and see my brother's. It's the same doctor's name and everything, bro. So it's like a scam they got going or some shit. What? I swear to God, fool. And it was a different person. It was a person. different lady, fool. It's a totally different lady. And what happened? You still got your I card? I got my though? card. Yeah. But still, it's like... Hey, I got a question, They're, they're just running like a little fucking scam. scam. Do you have to renew every year? Yeah, every year you renew. Wait a minute. So every year you got to pay 200 bucks? <sighs> Pretty much. That fucking sucks. I know, dog. It does. Well, you can just play like a flat fee and then you're done with it. I know, dog. Or at least cheaper, like 50 bucks a year. Yeah, if it was like 50 bucks a year, that ain't no, but 200. Or 200 bucks a year, but you get like an ounce with it or some shit, you know? Not just oh, fucking. Oh, yeah. Something, throw you dog. something. Throw Give me, me something. something. Give me a hueso, mijo. Give me a hueso, not just this carta with my fucking picture on it. Do they really take your pick? Yeah, yeah, it's on there oh, and all real? that shit, bro. Hell what yeah. if you're already high? I mean, that's not really how you look because some people, their faces get all distorted. When they're smoking weed. Yeah, maybe I just look fucking normal when will I'm they be, will, will they take a picture of you while you're hitting a blonte? Nah, that will be fucking dope. But Yeah, I know I, it would be dope, I was but it will also be dope. It will be dope as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <I was all laughs> <laughs> I 
I was all laughing. I was like, the biggest smile ever, bro. Oh, they're like, man, that like, ain't you. The cops all, that ain't you. That this guy's really happy. And this you guy's happy. Really agitated that I pulled you over. You have no fucking okay, emotions. So if you're driving and the cop, how much can you have in your car? I think I could carry up to two and a half ounces at a time. Oh, that ain't bad. Not bad. That's enough to get me through the day. AFO, no joke. Hey, is... I hey. know this dude that's slinging the ounce for seventy bucks is that expensive? Depending on how it how it is, if if it's some whack ass shit, it's expensive. If it's good, it's a good deal. Yeah, really good deal. Oh, cause the guy said the guy who gets it off that guy said it's the fucking bomb diggity. All right. So okay. this fool's fucking just coming up on fucking ounces left. Allegedly, right. we'll talk off air. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk off air about that one, bro. <laughs> All those are weekend at me and shit, hey, man. We'll talk off the air. We'll talk fuckers. off the air, homes. Be careful what you say, loco. Yeah, but right now I got to go to the fucking DMV after this. To, oh, cause there's fucking a, hate the DMV, bro. You got to wait, wait there? Like, just sit there like everybody else? Well, I don't even know what, what I got to do. There's a I'll fucking... Tell you what you got to do. You got to be like, now serving C-17 at window number nine. Because I, <laughs> I got a paper from the Lyft company, the fucking ride-sharing app. Yeah. And, um... They said that something popped up on my record. Hell yeah, a boner. A boner. No, 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 what popped up on your record? Some fucking kind of, uh, it says PNR speeding. So what that is, PNR. Let's, that's like, let's say, because I researched for like four, like four hours to fucking find out what the fuck that is. Okay, so let's say the speed limit is 35. Yeah. And you're going 30, but it's raining, like... Like it's uh, con- it's that condition bullshit. So the yeah. whenever you get a speeding ticket, it always says the speeding the speed you were going. Let's say yeah. you were going thirty, and it says speed limit posted thirty five. Yeah. But the PNR that's for conditions. Let's say the cop says twenty. You know, let's say it's raining, thunderstorming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he goes twenty is the max at these conditions, but he was going thirty. Yeah. So they give you a ticket for that, even though you're still going under the speed post the speed the limit. What the fuck? But they say I got a ticket like that, which I never did. I didn't even have a car on the day that the ticket was posted because yeah. they had wrecked my car 10 days earlier. But did you have a ticket to ride? I had a ticket to Disneyland. This <laughs> and then what happened? This is interesting. Well, it just fucking, this just happened last night. I got the email, so I was like, fuck, dude, all night, just trying to fucking figure out what's going on. So today, I called that fucking stupid company because Live Hire is a third fucking whatever. What do they call it? A third party company Oh. to run the fucking... Um, the driver's license checks and all yeah. that shit for people. So I call this company. I'm like, what's going on? Like, I never got that ticket. They're all, sir, you got to go on the website and uh, fill out this form. So I got to fill out this form, fax it to them, and then it takes 30 days for them to fucking get back at me. So I was like, what the fuck? Nobody got time for that bullshit. 30 days? Yeah, so I'm going to go just to the DMV right now, see what the fuck's going on with that shit popping out on my record because I never have that ticket, bro. And then you're going to... because sh- Dude, come on. I never fuck. I would have had fucking cards coming in my mailbox that I never paid that ticket. I never showed up to court for that ticket, cause it never happened, dog. It never fucking happened. Yeah, you got a point there. Yeah, when you don't pay a fucking ticket, trust me, they'll 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 let you know you haven't paid it, bro. Yeah. Why? Because first thing they do is suspend your license. I just want to know why you're getting mad right hey, now. Hey, I'm fucking mad at this fool, dog. He's still fucking right there, homes. Hey, this Vato has a package in his hand. Yeah, he has like a, a bag of weed. Nah, it's a fucking empty pack of fucking beef jerky. Look, it has <laughs> yeah. the nutritional What's facts in, in the back. What's that other bag, though? That other bag looks like a bag of weed. It's his Fifi, yes, eh? Or it could be like some, it looks like camouflage underwear. It does, huh? Like a cam- he has a camouflage <laughs> bag with like orange writing on it or some shit. Yeah, and he's got some bugler rolling paper. Yeah, that Damn, is. Yeah, I thought I was fucking broke. That motherfucker has a cross on his hand. Hey, so what are you going to do for Thanksgiving, Tolo? Because that's just a couple of days away. Well, you guys fuck. have plans? Yeah, yeah, just fucking chill with the family and eat. Yeah, dog. you yeah. guys make a turkey or a ham, or you guys go we make everything, homie. Turkey, ham. Yeah, that's what we bananas, do. bananas, everything. We do everything. Stuffing. I make turkeys, hands. We make babies. I make the best stuffing on earth. So hey, calm down, bro. Everybody says that, bro. Okay. Everybody says okay. they make the best stuff. Yeah, because everybody else uses the stupid caca. Like, oh. yeah, how do you make your stuffing, bro? Make it make from it. scratch, homie. Fuck, here we go again. But I'm not even going to break it down because I have the fucking shit written down at home. But I know I use, like, chicken broth, fucking yeah. sage fucking, uh, what do you call that? Yeah, sage. Sage fucking blue, blue, blue. That ground beef. <laughs> blue, blue, blue. It's not ground beef. What's the other? Ground sausage? Sage? Yeah. What's that brand that makes that shit? Not Farmer the, John, but the other, the other one. Jim Beam or what the fuck? J- uh, Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean, see? Jim Beam's a fucking alcohol. 
Jimmy Dean. Fuck, stop sage, drinking, bro. Sausage. So you just fucking, I don't know, you put all kinds of ingredients together. You throw it in the oven. It comes out know, bomb. Ain't nobody going to touch anybody else's fucking stuffing, homie. For real? Is it that good? How long have you been? Um, Guax, Guax the twins. How long have you been cooking the stuffing? I've been doing that recipe for five years. Damn, bro. Where'd you get the recipe from, though? Tell the truth. I got it from San Ruka. Fuck, so. bro. Was what it else a, I made? Were you smashing? Pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talking about that, that fool Billy, Billy Corbin, or what the fuck's his name? Yeah, for Billy smashing Singer? pumpkin? What happened? Was, Again? Somebody else would <laughs> rape? Oh, no. Another this rape. Rape. oh I was gonna this say. was just retarded. Like, What did he do? I was hearing like some interview online. This fool said like, he seen somebody shape shift in front of him and shit. What? A shapeshifter? Yeah. That he's seen this fool fucking turn into something else. He's, all these fucking rock stars are fucking They're all fucking lunatics. nuts, bro. You got that fool from Blink-182. Talking about aliens. What yeah. he saying? Saying that he's fucking contacted aliens, that he knows they're real, all this bullshit. What, one thing that he said, like, a fucking important government agency hit him up. And they wanted him to to meet them at the airport. Why would they want to hit him up? And why would they want to meet him at the airport and fucking yeah. talk about classified information at a restaurant inside the airport? This this sounds like a fucking, fucking movie. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of bullshit. Bro. So that's why I never listened to Blink-182 because they're fucking psychos. That's it. Hey, all these fucking rock stars are out of their fucking mind right now, bro. Yeah, Billy Corbin or Corgan or whatever. He yeah, fucking... I think it's Corgan. What else? I make fucking... I'm uh, not sure. What else do I make for things? Oh, uh, green bean casserole? Yeah, I never had that because I'm Mexican. Bang, bang yeah, bro. <laughs> what else do I make, bro? <laughs> you uh, make tamales? Like nah, turkey tamales? I don't fuck with tamales, dog. Break tamales I are eat a pain them, in the fucking ass to I make. eat them, but I won't fucking make. I won't even think of making them. Hell yeah, I fucking chew on a tamale right I now, I see my bro. tias, they start like fucking on Tuesday. <laughs> Finish on fucking, fucking Friday. Yeah, the turkey's done before the tamales <laughs> are. And, and turkey tastes forever, dog. Yeah, I'm going to smoke mine. I smoked mine last time. You smoke every kind of meat. <laughs> but I did smoke it, bro. It took forever, but it came out fucking delicious. Through in the smoker or, uh, or under the tierra? No, I got a smoker. Because my homies do. They dug a hole, bro. Yeah, and they did it on oh, the ground. That, was a, that was probably the best turkey you've ever yeah. had. Yeah. They smoked I don't, it. I don't know how to do that or else I, I've always wanted to learn how to yeah, do that. Yeah, those fools are retarded and they did it. So it, I'm pretty sure you could figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these fools are fucking. Yeah, yeah, you got this. Yeah, because I've seen people do it, but I've never. Because when they were doing it, I'm like, fuck no. I would not even fucking taste this turkey. It's going to taste like tierra. Yeah, but no, it no, doesn't. Dog. Yeah. It's like, God damn. And they just like cover it up and let it just cook by itself for right I should day. smoke a turkey, huh? I could make a smoker with one of my tubs I got back there. Yeah, you easily. Could. Could. Yeah, because the Cause, one I have, because the turkey will fit in that motherfucker like a champ. Yeah, because the turkey, the smoker that I have, bro, it ain't even like a traditional smoker. It's more like a tub. I'll, I could show you a picture of it. Because how would you do? Okay, it's so just like a tube. How that, does a smoker work? Let's say I was gonna make one out of one of those tubs. Yeah. So you, a, you have the smoker. wood. You have the wood in the bottom. And yeah. does something cover it? My wood's on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> does something cover it? Like, I don't get it. I'm trying yeah, to figure it out. I don't get it either. It's just on the bottom. That's how God made me. But it. is it fucking... <laughs> do the coals stay open in the open? Or? The coals? Nah. You got to cover it with something? Yeah. And then... Don't cover the coals. I don't cover the coals. Okay, so... I look, cover the whole fucking thing. So I got the thing right there. No, because I want to make a homemade one. Let's say I'm trying to get the concept of a smoker. Yeah. So I can make it. You know yeah, I, mean? I got you, bro. So I got the tanque. There's your yeah, coals down here, right? Or do the coals go on the bottom? I put the coals on the bottom. Coals, and then what do you have after that? I put... um, I do indirect heating, which I'll show you, tell you what that is. Yeah, I do that with my grill. Yeah, well, that's how I do my turkey. You just... Do half of it or what? Yeah, put like half of it and put the shit right oh, there. Oh, I can do that easy. And then I just flip it over like to, later on. I need to make like a door, huh, to fucking keep pushing, putting fucking wood Stuff in there? in there? Yeah, I just, I do it on, um, I have an old grill that I do it on also sometimes. So I just lift the fucking lid off the grill and then do it and then push it back down. All right. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that's how I make my. Make sure you start off early though, bro. Cause you want that motherfucker to finish on time. You don't want to be seven thirty at night. And you're still telling them, yeah, man. Just uh, give me another hour. It's almost done. We'll just eat it tomorrow, eh, sir? Yeah. Cause that's how I fucking uh, smoke the ribs on the grill. Yeah. Doing direct heat. Yeah, just like that. And just wrap some fucking wood and, and foil paper. Um, and or you could it. do it also like and um, just throw it on the fire so it could taste like wood. And it also depends on how far from. Yeah. Like I use I use mesquite. Okay. I throw mesquite on top of the coals and uh get that smoke flavor going. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You want to get that. Um, I don't have any other type of wood. Other people say they use pecan wood or whatever the fucking yeah, wood they want to use. You just buy it at Walmart. They sell it in the bags. Yeah, and then but just... see, like all those trees are mosquito in front of us. What you just do? I'm gonna fucking break one off right now and give it to you and throw it in your trunk and then your fucking turkey is gonna t- taste like a fucking like and you the, were at a smokehouse. And the turkey tastes like wood. Bro, if I didn't know you had any, I would have brought you. I got so much fucking mosquito in my crib, it ain't even funny. All right, dude, I'm going to make... I'm I smoke all kinds of shit, bro. I'm going to smoke one of the turkeys. Poles. I smoke fucking meat poles. <laughs> are you going to make more than one turkey? Two. You guys are? Fuck, yeah. how many people can go to your house? Like six or seven. That's it? Yeah. That's what I got in my house all the time, and I still not to make that many turkeys. <laughs> one turkey for each, dog. Huh. Don't Everybody, they don't fuck around at that house. Everybody wants a turkey leg. Like, hey, we Ooh. need four. We need four turkeys because everybody wants a leg. Dude, I'm gonna smoke that shit. Hopefully, they trust me. Yeah, if not, Plus, just if not, I'll go get my own turkey. No, go just get, get on. One. Just get on YouTube and fucking watch a smoke video. That's what I did. Yeah, That's but, how I did. Uh, but I'm gonna build my smoker. I gotta do it today. Yeah, no, it's not a big issue. I it's just need to buy like a grill thing, huh, just for it to sit to on. To sit on, and something Fuck. to cover. And something to cover it with, right? Yeah, some big you piece could of use, metal. Yeah, or you could use a piece of wood. It doesn't matter. Um. Oh yeah, it won't it won't burn off. No, nah, no, nah, yeah. Um, fuck. If I would have known all this shit, I would have just fucking handed you the items in my backyard because I got items. Fuck it, dude. my backyard is like a junkyard. I'll cruise by and grab those. I got all kinds of shit. fucking crazy shit back there, bro. I got a Ferris wheel, a mermaid. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This fool's this, fucking. What this the about f- those on his phone still looking at fucking that porno? Phone, the phone don't even work. That's just been off the whole time. Huh, he's like, man, I'm trying to get on the Rose Clip podcast, but this fucking phone won't let me. That fool just pretending, yes, sir. Have you talked to Bobby? Flat tire? Yeah. Nah, but I got a couple companies hit me up, dude. They need uh, part-time screen printers. Yeah. So I'm going to go talk to two of them right now. You're going to tell them what's up, puto? Yeah, just, you know, go help them out once in a while. This yeah. fucker's fucking tweaking, yes, sir. And make sure that you fucking, the price is right, fool. Oh, or yeah. they don't yeah. fuck with you. Fuck, no, because I already know how much fucking fatty they make. They make a fucking killing. They do, dog. And, uh, fucking, shit, bro, this fucking beer's killing me right now. It is, bro. You're fucking Did you already finish yours? You're stumbling, you're mumbling. You're Did you stumbling. finish yours? No, not yet, not yet. I got, like, two more sits, bro, and I don't think I'm ever going to buy these again. Hey, did you ever watch the Triple G and, um, the other Which one? Canelo fight? Yeah. Who do you think won that fight? I thought Triple, no, I thought Canelo won, even though I wasn't going for Canelo. You thought Canelo won? Yeah, he why, just looked more. He, he just looked more active to me. I pe- I'm pretty sure if I watched it again, my fucking uh, uh, yeah, opinion right. would change. But I when it. it was over, I even made a fucking crazy bet on that fight, and I'm glad that it was a draw because I was I was like, "Fuck!" I would have given it to Canelo. I would have fucking cried, bro. You were going for Canelo? No, I was going for Triple G. Triple G. But every Mexican in the world was going for Canelo. You know, you can't yeah. change their fucking mind. Hey, Canelo could get knocked out like 200 times, and he's going to fight somebody else. Everybody's going to be like, I'm still going for Canelo. You know what's crazy? (laughs) Still nobody cares about those two fools. They're still talking about McGregor and the boxing. Yeah. You know who wants to to come out of retirement to fight him now? To fight McGregor? De La Hoya, bro. He he made it officially legit that he wants to fight him. He wants to fight McGregor. So what do you think McGregor's going to do? Why not? That's another yeah. fucking eighty million yeah. dollar payday. Yeah. The fuck am I gonna go get my ass whooped for? Wait fucking, a minute. For a De La Hoya. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't he like fucking forty eight? <laughs> yeah, but that's good for McGregor. Maybe yeah. he can like him fucking sock this fool up. But if he loses to De La Hoya, that'll be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but De La Hoya made it like already. Yeah, he says he's been training secretly for like the past six months. All this shit. For real? That he's faster, more powerful, stronger. Than Everybody ever. said that, bro. <laughs> yeah, they he's, all say that. He's, course, yeah, bro. he's faster than he was six months ago. He's trying yeah. to fucking sell that pelea that nobody wants to watch. Yeah, yeah. right. Everybody will still fucking order Everybody that. will still wa- watch it. Hey, check this out. Was it you or somebody else that was telling me about Tyrese and fucking The Rock hating yeah, each other? Yeah, it was other? us. Yeah. They're still, is that still going on? I don't know, dude. I think The Rock don't even fucking mention this fool no more. He don't even care about it. Hey, him, somebody you know? told me that he's making videos of him crying. Yeah. For real? Tyrese of himself crying. Everybody's talking about it. And I'm like, wait a minute. I heard that from somewhere. Yeah, dude. It must have been from the Rose Clear podcast. Who else? Well, we spit fucking the knowledge. We spit the truth. We spit the gospel. If you guys don't believe us, send us 10% of your checks, and your life will <laughs> get much better. You yeah, guys like, will see eternal life. Yeah. You guys will fucking walk through the gates of heaven and kiss the feet of Jesus. Amen. 
Hey, I really think Jesus was a zombie. Well, he's the original zombie. If the if the story's true. Because he died, they stuck him in a cave, and then he came back to life mm-hmm. like a few days later. That's a zombie. That's yeah, a zombie, see. right? Yeah. Everybody's trying to bullshit. I think that's a zombie. The, the OG zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, bro. This beer's fucking weird. It's pretty good, though. It's okay if you're fucking desperate. You're an alcoholic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I won't buy it again. Ugh. So uh, our that next. That last sip makes me want to fucking shit. I think our next episode should be Mystery 40, dude. You want to go Mystery 40 with the episode? I think so. Oh, shit. What was that? Yeah. I dropped something. Uh, Chorizo's over here about to fucking sp- spill half of his beer. Who fuck honked at you, dog? Everybody honks at me yesterday. Look at this fucking honky. He's still there. He's, he's been there since we started this episode. This was eating fucking... It's 46 ounces of beef jerky. Oh, what is that? Is it beef jerky? It, yeah, it said, it said 46 ounces on there. Damn, beef jerky. That motherfucker's fluffed. Hell yeah, I told you. 46 ounces of beef jerky. That's like half a fucking cow he's got in there, Damn, bro. I want some of that. Oh, Dude, shit. You oh. like beef jerky? I love beef jerky, dog. I love beef jerky. I love me some beef jerky. What's your favorite kind? Um, I just like, like the original Late homie. Saturday nights All alone yeah, you're That's a when I fucking Jerky my beef oh, I jerky that beef All day long <laughs> Hey I was watching This video on YouTube You know that rapper Two Chains Yeah yeah He has these videos I didn't know that Where he's like He does just I know of Weird him. shit I, I've never heard that fool, But I know who he is Yeah I heard of one too I didn't even know That was Two Chains Until they mentioned it I just thought it was Some black dude With a bunch of gold on Anywho He's inside one of the Most expensive restaurants On the planet and he eats this fucking steak, right? The guy cooks it for him, explains the whole thing. It comes from Japan, the steak. I guess they get these cows, the way they're raised. Yeah. They pamper them. Like, these cows are, like, fucking... Oh, they treat them all fucking... Yeah, like, like they get massages and take them baths and all that shit, and they kill them. Where's this at again? I guess Pompeii? in Japan. In Pompeii? In, no, in Japan. <laughs> in Japan. And then what happened? Well, now the meat... That meat gets shipped over here to fucking um, the United States, right? To sell at these restaurants. What do so, you call it? Pampered meat? I fr- there's I a pam- name. It's a weird I name. I my meat all the time. <laughs> it's a weird name, but for... That's tobacco, fool. A 12 ounce. That's 48 ounces of tobacco. Oh, yeah, that know. is tobacco. I thought it was beef jerky. <laughs> that fool's making himself some blunts right now. Hey, so my fucking, my fucking meat would taste so good because <laughs> I caress that motherfucker all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, check this out. A 12 ounce steak of okay. that meat is 350 bucks. Oh, hell no. 350. Okay. What does it do, fool? I don't know. He just, they cooked it, it up pay, and he ate it and he it, was just it like. It pays your rent for two months? But I didn't like the fact that he was like, I haven't eaten meat since 2001 or something. And I'm like, then why the fuck are you eating yeah. it? You're not even a meat. Have a meat eater try the meat and then tell us yeah. if, if it's that good. It's probably not. It's yeah. probably no different than fucking uh, when you buy a fry. Yeah, that's what I'm for saying. For three ninety five a pound. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm like. I don't give a fuck how you treat that cow. Hey, fries fuck has that cow. Fries had the fucking lobster tails food for five bucks, bro. Fat ones. You bought them? Hell, hell yeah. You came up. When was this? You just throw them on the grill. I wrap them in foil with butter and all kinds of bullshit. Yeah, yeah. On. yeah. Some fucking what do you call that? Garlic, whatever. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. Throw them in the oven until they get red. And then fucking boom, it was Ooh, a party. Yeah, you dip him in some butter with whatever you want to mix in your butter, too. Yeah. Next thing you know, you got a butter slut. <laughs> hey, I got fucking butter nuts. Hey, fool, do you marinate your turkey the night before? Or you just fucking dry ball it like a G? No, I don't marinate it. I give it a dry rub. All right. Yeah, you got to dry That's what rub I do. It. Anywho, check this out. So he also tries this one baker, makes these fucking donuts. Donuts. This donut costs a thousand dollars. What kind of? Do- How big is it? It's like a like fucking the size of my house. No, it's a fucking donut, bro. It's just like a donut. You need like a fucking to- a helicopter to take it to your fucking. <laughs> you no, know, it was just a regular donut, but it was um, made with that cow cow meat. The top of it was well, gold flakes. The top of it was caressed for fucking three months. It's <laughs> like before, before you could eat the dough. <laughs> <laughs> they caress the dough for three the months. Dough for three months. They're giving it a massage, pampering it. That's why it tastes like that. Fucking shit is fucking fermented. Okay. It's all rotten and shit. 14 karat gold flakes on the top. Okay. Big old flakes, too, bro. Like shavings, like big ones. Like now, real thin. And then the whatever the shit's cooked with, one of the. Is that edible gold or what the fuck? Yeah, you could eat that. Um, 
the liquid they use to fucking cook the donut in, it's this fucking, it's called King King Louis the something. It's some kind of fucking liquor. Oh, that expensive one. Yeah. Because I saw that at Costco, fool. Yeah. That bottle was like fucking 10 Gs or something. Yeah, yeah. Shit. yeah. Like the small ones are like thirty five hundred bucks. You know, yeah, they had a big ass one yeah. at Costco. I think it was like twelve. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, King it's King, King Louis. Yeah, something Louis. Well, I got a homie named Louis. You blowing <laughs> for a dollar, homie? <laughs> but there's like all this shit that's cooked with that's all expensive. They use like fucking King Louis to cook it with. That's why it's expensive. Like, yeah, like I don't give a fuck about that nah, shit. Did you some fucking regular brandy? Okay, people? they gave two chains a fucking plate with different chicken wings on it. Not like hot wings, like little wings. It was like a regular wing, right? Just different types of fucking different. This fucking plate of these wings, there was like fucking five of them. $4,900 a plate. And that fool bought them? Well, no, they're letting him try them. So he sat there and he's like, and I'm the whole time, I'm like, was he like, he would, was he amazed by any of them? Like, no, that's what thing. Cause like, like, to the next level. It's because I, I, don't, I don't eat, y'all don't eat meat and all this. I'm like, what the fuck? Two why chains don't eat meat? That's why I'm like, why the fuck are you eating all this shit if you don't eat meat, you stupid fuck? It's bad for you. Yeah, but then fucking you pop all those pills, drink all that fucking I think he's food. lying. I think he does eat fucking chicken, but he's bullshitting. I think he eats meat, that's it. I thought he... I'll put some meat in his mouth, that's Hell it. Hell yeah, fucking shut him up, Holmes. <laughs> that's why they call him 2 chains, because I'm not the can't make up his mind. And you saw this on YouTube? Yeah. All oh, right. I saw another thing on YouTube, too. It's crazy. What happened? But I don't know, man. Some of this shit, I'm just like, is this real? Is this fake? What the fuck? Yeah, I, okay. I know what you mean. You Sometimes know what I'm saying? like, fuck, you got to like, go do like a five-hour research. Research just to story. find out. Like, oh, yeah, they were bullshitting everybody. It's like CNN okay. was bullshitting us. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. 9-11 was real. Anyways, check this out. This one, I forgot the name of the video, but you could fucking Google whatever. It says it's a... Uh, they get these three fucking dudes that are like Mormons, and they give them acid for the first time. Oh, I seen that. You See, seen I that don't one? know that's real though. Yeah, that's what I don't either. Because because, because they're way too calm right, to you, be on acid for your first time. Too, yeah, you're, you're way fucking, too calm. Because even with shrooms, I've tripped out worse. Yeah, than that, bro. way worse than that. And I heard the acid is way stronger than shrooms. So yeah, I can't well, it just depends. You know, it depends on. Because not all acid is the same. It's like every other all drug. Right. But they wouldn't so give you don't know. some cheap ass. They acid. won't give. If yeah. I'm gonna experiment on a motherfucker, yeah, you gotta film give the it. Real deal oh, you're fucked. Yeah. Don't make me give you something. I'll fuck you up. I'll you ain't sure. never coming back oh, to yeah. Earth. I'll make sure you're in Wonderland for the rest of your life. <laughs> so then uh another one I saw was this grandma and her fucking grandson. They smoke weed for the first time. Yeah, that was fun, huh? Oh, that was laughing because she watches porno, but she don't tell him until she's like hi. She's like, Yeah, I used to watch dirty movies with my neighbor, but I never told your grandfather. And he's like, what? Yeah. She's like, yeah, we used to like put blankets over the windows so it could be all dark in oh, the room. Oh, he was fucking poking that ass. Well, it was the neighbor's, the husband would like prep the room and put yeah. on the fucking porno. And the the grandma would watch it with the, with the wife, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Do your thing. Hold on. Let me pause this. Yeah, Sorry, pause dude. it. God damn I mean, it. Hey, we, we just recorded like <laughs> half hour of show without recording, so a half hour of show. We're just running our fucking mouths. A beautiful shit too. It was some nice shit too. The fake Disneyland. The fake fucking iPhones in China. Damn, dog. We can't even repeat half the shit we said. Fuck, we that's never know what sad. we say. Anywho, let me I tell you. I feel like shooting myself now, bro. Okay, we're gonna go back it. real quick. Real quick. All right. The fucking uh, on Netflix. The um, I don't remember the name of the fucking documentary, but they were showing this. Um, City in China where all they do is fucking make bootleg shit. They make bootleg shit and they sell a lot of shit on eBay because I purchased shit from there. Me too. Oh, no wonder. It'd be like 14 days to get there. Yeah, they're like, hey, from, it's going to take. You'll get it in 2020. Ching, ching, ching. Ching, ching, ching. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're showing dudes inside a room making bootleg fucking iPhones, bro. And they ain't fucking around. And they look like the real bro, deal. Bro, they look Holyfield. like the real deal, holy feel, right? They're too legit to quit. And then they were showing the fucking airport in, uh, the, there's several of them, but one of them in New York. Where these custom agents, all they do is walk around all fucking day. It's like Christmas in July every day, bro. Cause all they do is open up packages for China and look for bootlegs. Anything bootleg. Watches, fucking shoes, fucking purses, fucking headbands, everything, right? 
So you know those those boots are called Uggs. Yeah, they're expensive. Okay. The girls love them. Yeah, the girls love them. Tom Brady wears them. <laughs> yeah, that fucking Joto. Yeah, he's just, he's sponsored by Uggs, but Dizzy? that's a different story. Okay, huh? well, you know, more power to that fag. Fuck yeah, he's okay. making money, more yeah. money than us. That's yeah. it. Hey, he's richer than me, but poor. And than he's us. married to a fucking supermodel that makes more money than he does. Are you serious? Yeah, just Giselle some shit. She's like a Brazilian uh, model. So sorry, she bro. got a booty. I don't know, but we got a. She's make, Brazilian. She better have one. China better make a bootleg fucking Tom Brady. Or <laughs> hey, so check this out. Um, there were the custom agents grab these Uggs, right? And on the back of the Ugg boot, it says Ugg, right? Well, there's Chinese writing on it, okay? But if you look at the writing, you could see the Ugg in there. So all they do is cover that up when it gets here. So it oh, says Ugg, and okay? Then, and then on the bottom of the boot, it's all plain. Like, there's nothing. There's no tread. There's nothing. And the fucking agent, he peels it off like a sticker for And then you see the Ugg on there. You and see all the tread. Yeah. Oh, so they but cover at it At first up. glance, when you just look at it, you're just like, oh, it's just a plain boot. They start peeling shit away. And you're like, what the fuck? Straight up bootleg fool. They're like, sees all this shit. And then they, like, find these little wooden panels. Like, little square. I don't know. They'll say, like, oh, there's like task force always fucking. Yeah, just going through there like it's Christmas, bro. Fucking bootleg. Yeah, shit. they probably take it home. Oh, that's what I was saying. I was telling yeah. my family that I gonna be taking all that shit. Oh, yeah. Don't fuck with me. Fuck, no, offer up here, I could. Yeah. So they find these wooden panels in these boxes, right? And they're like probably like twelve inches by like eight inches or something. So they're kind of curious, like, what the fuck is these pieces of wood for? Because there was no reason for them. Like, there's. Not other pieces of wood like that. They're just all the same type of wood in these boxes. Over and over. So they start because the wood's kind of like fake. So they cut them open. And inside there are stacks and stacks of blank credit cards. Like Disneyland credit cards. Fucking Toys R Us credit card. Any credit card you think about. Fucking stacks and stacks oh, of to, them, bro. To make like bootleg to make, cards and to shit. To make cards here. The ones so where they still fucking. Yeah. Uh, so what they do is. Shit. Yeah. So what they do is. They get the cards here. Somebody here buys them. Right. Then they fucking pay a hacker to give them info from all these people that they steal it from. Then they have the machine press all that info into the fucking card. And the next thing you know, you shop till you drop, local. You just shop till you drop. Until they close that fucking account. account. Yeah, until they close that account. And they were showing um, purses, fucking belts, everything, bro. Watches. All the bootleg shit. This one dude in New York, this motherfucker will get a fucking bootleg watch that looks like an expensive one. But the expensive one's all iced out, right? Yeah. He takes months, bro, icing out all these watches. It was showing him with all his equipment. He's just sitting inside an apartment. He's icing them out. They look exactly. Making bootleg fucking He's like, hey, he's like, hey this fucking watch right now, it's like 40 Gs. He tells this one guy, but I'm going to sell it to you right now for 4500 bro. Because that's how I do things. And I do like, cool. Motherfucker pulls out 4500 bucks and slaps his fool with it. And he gives him a bootleg watch he got for a couple oh, hundred he bucks. he bought it for yeah, that Yeah, he bought it for that fool. And then they showed the other Jamaican dude in New York. This motherfucker, he wasn't stupid, bro. That motherfucker was a thinker. Because everybody gets busted for that shit up there, right? Everybody's selling bootlegs. This motherfucker just kicks back in the alley with an iPad. And all his shit's like on the iPad. So he just tells you to point out what you want. So all you do is scroll through it like oh, fucking shit. Instagram. And then he brings it for you. Yeah, he's just like, hey, what do you want? And he's all scrolling through it while he's talking to the fucking guy doing the interview. He's like, check it out. He's like, you see me with any merchandise on me? No, you don't. I just got my little fucking pad right here. Oh, Go ahead dude. and choose what you want. He goes, I got boots. I got shirts. I got sweaters. What you want? I was like, fuck. These motherfuckers are that crazy. smart. Yeah. yeah. And then they were talking to this other dude who does the same thing in New York. And he was like, he's like, I'm like the master at fucking expert at knowing which a bootleg and what's not. He's like, check this out. I got these bootleg purses. I'm going to show you what's up. So he goes, you'll know it's a bootleg because every fucking purse that's expensive they all got like a fucking serial number on them or like a UPC code or some shit. All of them are the same. All of them are the same. The same number on yeah, all of them? Yeah, all the purses. Like, so you got a fucking box full of fucking purses. They all got the same thing. So you know they're a bunch of bootlegs. He goes, oh, and some of them, all yeah, right, all he right. goes, and he goes, but look, and he shows you, it looks exactly, bro. He goes, I have clients that are really rich. That buy this shit off me. Because it's cheaper. Because it's cheaper. And nobody's going to suspect that it's fucking fake when they have it. Yeah, yeah. Cause nobody's going to think, like, that's a bootleg you got. Nobody's going to want to check that. Yeah, nah, girl. I got fucking you know what I mean? million dollars in the bank right now. Yeah, I'm right? not trying to fuck around. But they're, they're, they're only paying like 400 bucks for something that costs 4Gs. Yeah, that's crazy. People have, those rich people have buy those expensive fucking purses. Yeah. And shoes Yeah, and that's shit. crazy. Yeah. But it was, it was a good one because they're showing all this fucking shit. 
and people making it and people selling it. These dudes are just driving around with all this merchandise in the car. Then they also have a task force where, I don't know, like fucking 15 ages go to a swamp meet and they just bust everybody who's selling bootlegs. Everybody gets arrested, bro. Every, you could just be at the swamp meet just slaying your bootlegs like whatever and then they just sh- arrest you like, hey, you know this is fake? Not in all, uh uh-uh. Boom, you're under arrest. They take all your money. Confiscate all your merchandise. Your ass goes to jail for. What well, Swami was this? So I won't go. Well, there. it was over there on the East Coast, but they said that's like a common thing. Like that's what they do. And yeah. I'm like, fuck. They, I have never seen that happen here, because they sell bootleg shit here all day. Yeah, all day. Every Swami. Everybody go to does bootleg. bootleg. But over there, I guess they don't fuck around. They just. It's probably like a big thing over there. Yeah. Though. Oh, and then the, they had a dude from here, from AZ, on there, out of his storage unit, because he was renting out a storage. He was selling five gallon buckets of fucking uh, Tide. Or Kelly piss. <laughs> it was Tide, right? He was selling them for forty five dollars for a five gallon bucket. But what he was doing is he was buying orange five gallon buckets, and then he was buying these blue lids and putting them on there, making his own Tide stickers, slapping them on the thing, and he was using all these chemicals to make it look blue. Oh, so when shit. you opened it up, you just thought it was tied. You're like, oh, shit, I got some tied. And those, like, fucking dollar store soap and shit. Yeah, like shit like that. So you know what? These agents fucked up. And even before they even got to the conclusion, I was already telling my family, hey, they already fucked up. They can't get this dude for shit. They're like, why not? I go, because when it comes to all of this bullshit, all of this bootleg shit, okay, if you are not caught with the fucking label or the emblems or all that, and if it's not on your product, they can't do shit to you. It's all about that label. You got to have a fucking label that you made up or an emblem or something that you pressed or you bought off somebody. And if they catch you with all these Gucci fucking emblems. They're going to know you're full of that shit. That you're making them yeah. or whatever. This dude sold them 15 fucking or 30 fucking. Buckets? Yeah. They're all loading on these agents. are all happy loading them in a fucking you all got this puto. Hell no, he didn't put labels on none of them, bro. None of them had labels. They didn't even have he didn't they didn't even have labels in his storage, bro. They couldn't get them for shit. Oh, so just when he promotes it, he promotes it with the label. Yeah, and when they bought some before, when they buy them, he just sells them. Fucking. Well, before when he bought them, when they bought some, because they were like, oh shit, somebody bought some bootleg fucking tied. Or what are they getting them off of this fool? Okay, let's go bust them. So then they set up a sting operation. But this Wato, yeah, he fucking went. They even have surveillance him making the the gallons at the, at the storage. He's outside the storage, not even in the fucking storage. He's like outside the storage door. Making jabon and Yeah, shit. making soaps, right? And then he just fucking puts lids on them and then calls these putos. They show up. They come with a U-Haul. They give him the money. Next thing you know, they're like, unfortunately, we can't do nothing because uh, he doesn't have any labels on the... Uh, so that was just like a big fucking waste of fucking operation time. Yeah, bro, they could do anything. Damn. They couldn't do shit to the vato. That's crazy. That phone needs a loophole, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a good one? You got to get smart, bro. Yeah, I bro. I got to watch that. It's a documentary or Yeah, TV? it's on YouTube. Or a series. It's like, yeah, it's like a series. They show like... Different episodes or yeah, whatever? Yeah, like cartels, human trafficking, fucking oh, all right. kinds of shit. And that one was just like bootlegging. You got to text me that. Counterfeit fucking, info, fucking whatever. Text me the name of Netflix. that. Netflix. Text me the name of that thing. Hell yeah. Do you got to take off now, Vic? No, no, we're good. We okay. got another 20. Um, I was going to ask you... Um, what happened? I just watched this video on YouTube about a fake Disneyland homes. Have you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny, huh? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> That's hey, a real goofy, because hey. that motherfucker was goofy than the motherfucker. Hey, though. I just want to let the audience know is that Well, we were recording for half an hour, Dolo put on a video of that fake Disneyland, and we were commenting on it the whole time. The whole time. And that's why we're laughing, because it's like we're just repeating what we just <laughs> said, but <laughs> it was funnier earlier than it is now. But it, they had, like, a fucked up Mickey Mouse. The seven dwarves look like they're all on acid. All of them look like they were high as fuck on, on another. The eyes are all popping, popping out, out of their head. One of them was tweaked out, two yeah. of them on acid, one on shrooms. Fucking Snow White was Chinese. I don't understand where that came understand. Where, How did that happen? I would at least hire a white girl. And then they're asking, like, the manager, like, are you ripping off Disneyland? Is that Mickey Mouse? He's like, He's no. Like, no. That's a cat. If that's you a look cat close, with big ears that's if you a, look close enough. Yeah, and then, and then they're asking the employees, they're like, hell yeah, that's Mickey Mouse. That's Mickey Mouse. We got to tell the kids this is Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. The kids want to know if that Mickey Mouse. So, yeah, if you guys are ever in Beijing, go to fucking the fake Disneyland. The fake Disneyland. Is there, do they have a name for that Disneyland? That shit will give you nightmares, bro. It looks like it a scary It looks scary. Movie. Yeah, it looks scary. 
It did have a name. They had like Hello Kitties walking around. They had fucking panda bears walking around. It's called China Fake Disneyland opens to public. Fuck it, let's go. We stopped it right here. Let's let's talk to them a little. So they got Winnie the Pooh's fucking hanging out. They got all kinds of fucking weird ass animals just walking around. Like Hello Kitty. Look at that fucking bootleg Hello Kitty. Oh, that's Kitty. a bootleg Hello Kitty, I, I make, bro. I can sublimate a better one at home. Most characters are imitation or poor, of poor quality. Hey, did you we know? investigated and want to plan measures. Oh, yeah. They're, maybe they closed that shit down by now. I don't know, but I wish I could have went just so I could make fun of it. Or have nightmares. Because, fuck, that shit's scary. At the hey, did you Look know? at that dwarf. Oh, Ugh. see? They got big old cheeks. Their eyes are sticking out. Our person in charge meets with dangerous situations in China. This is fucking not right. Don't ever go to China and try to go to their fake Disneyland. Nah, nah. You know, I always tell people in the world, bro, if you want to go to Disneyland, why don't you just pay the 100 bucks, you piece of shit, and get a fucking... Take you to the real Disneyland. Instead of buying a fucking 5000 airplane ticket to China just so you could pay $30 to the fake yeah. Disneyland. It makes no sense. That's fucking dumb. If it don't make dollars. It don't make sense. That's fucking crazy, bro. Hey, they don't care in China, bro. They'll bootleg anything. They'll bootleg any motherfucker. I've seen bootleg uh, iPhones. Like, the, you know those Apple stores that they have at the yeah. mall? There's, like, bootleg Apple stores. There is? Everything, bro. Yeah. There was, like, this agent that was showing over there in that, in that uh, city Documentary? over there. Documentary? Yeah. He was in Xing Xing or whatever the fuck it's called. Chang, Chang. He's an American, and then he has like all these IDs, bro. All these different passports, because all he does is go around busting bootleggers. All right. And uh, but he's an American dude, and he had like all these fake false teeth, like a bunch of them, and he keeps putting the money's all. Yeah, one day I'm from Texas. One day I'm from fucking whatever. I'm from the Middle East, and he puts on different teeth, and you see all his pictures, and he looks different in all the pictures. And then he's like, just so I could go around busting bootleggers. That's fucking tight, dude. I was like, fuck. You can't even bootleg in China because the fucking Americans want to fucking cut in on your fucking jale. You know what I mean? And you can still buy all those bootlegs on eBay. Yeah, and all that. Oh, eBay sells all that. that. And you know what? It's funny because you said that and, 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 and then me seeing that. Because sometimes when I'm on eBay, they're like, Yo, yeah, shit. iPhone 6 is fucking 150 unlocked. And I'm like. They're like, we got every color in the world. I'm like, how the fuck are you selling it for 100? We got 100? colors that, that aren't even out yet. Yeah, I'm like, how the fuck do you have a shit ton of them? And they're 150 bucks. That makes some fucking sense. I don't know, bro. But it's because they're all bootlegs. If you look, free shipping for a fucking Xing Xing or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, who offers you know? free shipping? Man? It'll <laughs> yeah. be there fucking next year. Right yeah. Next Thanksgiving, yes, eh? They're like, you want it on Christmas Eve 2019? Order today. Order oh. before Thanksgiving 2016. <laughs> you got four minutes to order. <laughs> Yeah, bro. And we'll fucking throw in some free bubble wrap, mija. I'm trying to think what other bootleg shit I've ordered from eBay. Um, oh, my old lady bought some bootleg soap off somebody. Like shampoo. For real? Somebody was slanging shampoos. And it was a bootleg shampoo, bro. Yeah. When we were watching that, she was like, fuck. That shit reminds me of when I got fucking burnt for some shampoos. How'd I go, that work? How do you guys know it was fake? She said because she bought that shampoo before, right? And so she was just like, okay, I'll just take some of them. So she fucking bought some. Dude, that's fucking Then when smart. she fucking used it, it was like fucking watery and like it wasn't even the same color, bro. I'm going to start doing that by uh, be like, send me all your fucking used shampoo bottles. <laughs> yeah, and buy the dollar store one exactly. and put it in there. Exactly, feel it, yeah. And then just be like, hey, there hey, it is. Pro-V, <laughs> if you don't look good, we don't look good, we got girl. got herbal essence for you, girl. <laughs> we got some Aquanet, Mika, but it's really Krylon. <laughs> Her hair's all. She's like, hey, you could dye your hair with this fucking. I got some hair dye. Aquanet, mija. Got some hair dye. It's really fucking Kool Aid in that yeah. thing. <laughs> See that, bro? It's got glitter. Like, hey, girl, your fucking your hair looks nice. Yeah, you need, got that fucking apple flake in there. Hey, man, you bootleg so much. We need to move to China, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. We'll just start bootlegging anything. Potato chips. Oh hell yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck Make them out of papel. <laughs> Throw them in there. Just fucking fry them up. Fry them up. Sprinkle a little bit of garlic and fucking salt and pepper on there. Like, this is the best fucking paper I ever had. Dude, bro. I still can't believe we lost all that material, bro. Uh, is that crazy? That was like that was gonna, that was gold right there. That was gonna be our door into the fucking outer to worlds, the, bro. To the to we, the big time. We lost our best half hour ever just to fucking. We were having a good time, audience. You guys don't fucking appreciate shit. You we guys do don't. You guys. you guys don't. You guys are just sitting at home relaxing, smoking weed. We're smoking weed, going to work, fucking enjoying your day. Hey, what'd you have for breakfast this morning? For breakfast, I had a pea, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, Whoa, bro. Oh, the ones that I like. 
No, I made it out of scratch, homie, this time. I was out of those, eh? That's why I can't talk to you, bro. But it was Everything bomb. you have is out of it's for scratch, bro. Jiffy. No I matter just... what I ask you, you're like, I'm like, hey, did you play the slots when you were in Vegas? You're like, yeah, but I made a slot machine for scratch. <laughs> <laughs> and I won it all, homie. I took it all, homie. I put a little bit of fucking Jiffy. Yeah. Or Skippy. 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 Skippy with some grape jelly. Yeah. On some wheat. Fucking, what's Did that you, bread that starts with the S? Sara Lee? Yeah, that's the best bread on the planet, Sarah Lee bro. Wheat with a little bit of fucking, not the, the not the crunchy uh, peanut butter. Yeah, I don't like that crunchy shit. It's the soft one. Don't Did I ever tell you there. why? Why? I never tell you guys why I, like, I don't like the crunchy peanut butter. I didn't even know you didn't like the crunchy peanut butter. Fuck, I fucking hate the crunchy peanut butter, and it's because I'm brainwashed. I'm going to break it down you to you. You choked on it? When I was a kid. Okay. I lived with one of my aunts. Okay. One of them or This two of them? woman had so many fucking roaches, it wasn't even funny, bro. Cockroaches? Yeah, what other roaches are you talking oh, about? She smoke, it. <laughs> <laughs> but one time they let somebody left the lid off the peanut butter. Okay? Uh, and it was smooth peanut butter. And was, when you ate it it was crunchy. No no no, but they left the lid off and there was a roach in there and there was a there was a fucking roach in it or whatever, making a big thing out of it. So what happened was I mentally thought the crunchy peanut butter was cucarachas, oh, like roaches inside of, the peanut butter. Because of her house? Yeah, I just thought, oh, man, that's crunchy. And they're like, no, it's there's peanuts in there. That's why it's crunchy. I go, no, there's fucking pieces of roach in there. And to this day, I don't give a fuck, bro. There's roaches in the peanut butter. That's why you named your fucking podcast. The roach <laughs> clip. Clip. Podcast. And jelly. The- roach <laughs> clip and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, um. Uh, what a, there was something I had to fucking tell you before you started talking. Oh, for breakfast, fool. Yeah. I, had, I had two fucking bowls this morning, and one of them was cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. One was green, huh? <laughs> but wait a minute, bro. Yeah, that's why I'm traumatized with the PB&J. Did you um fry it? Because some people like to fry it, bro. Like fry a, what? Like the, the, the peanut butter sandwich? And jam- yeah, like grilled cheese. They'll fry it up oh, no, so the, no, no. so the bread's that. like crispy. I didn't do that, but I mean, it's probably good. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I haven't there. tried it. Neither, but hey, I, I'll fucking murder a fucking grilled cheese sandwich. I bro. love grilled cheese sandwiches, God, bro. Damn, with some Fun. pepper jack or whatever. Hell yeah, jack. pepper jack. I love oh, pepper bro. jack cheese. I'm going to fucking fries right now. Hey, you ever go to fries and then go to the deli and they give you samples? Like, you're like, hey, I need a. I want to try that fucking. Uh, you ever try their buffalo chicken, um, chicken breast? No. Tell them to give you a slice of that, bro, and eat it there. The, the one on the back where, where yeah, you order, where, where they yeah, like the boar's head or the fucking private selection. So what's it called? It's called the, the wings? buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. Chicken breast. Buffalo chicken Bomb breast. As fuck. Fuck, bro. You can make a sandwich with that. Yeah, bro. well, even when you buy any of that shit, they'll give you a sample. But even when you buy, they give you a sample. Every time I get like my cheese, because I buy my cheese there, and I buy the fucking uh, like ham, smoked ham, chicken breast, whatever. They always give you samples. You have to piss? Yeah, yeah, but keep going. This no, bro, go ahead and go pee. All right, keep talking. Let's, I'll be sure? back. Yeah. All right, go and pee right there behind that cactus, fool. Show sure everybody right. you care, bro. If you're a fucking G, uh, I want to I say the play-by-play, play, bro. All right. All right, fucking Tolo just got out the vehicle. He's walking. I just noticed Tolo ain't got an ass. <laughs> Poor fucking bastard, he ain't got an ass. <laughs> okay, he just took off running inside the fucking wild horse past Chevron. All right, that motherfucker should have ran through the bag and lose some fucking calories. That fat fuck. Anywho, what are we talking about right now? We we're talking about the boar's head ham. So if you guys go to fries, go to the deli, and just fucking they'll give you a sample of whatever fucking ham or fucking turkey or pastrami or beef fucking corn, whatever the fuck they have. Just say, can I get a sample of this? And I would like to give that a try. Boom. Get the buffalo chicken breast. I know what I'm telling you guys. Fucking delicious. They also have another one called the, um, the sriracha chicken breast. Yeah, sriracha chicken. That's what they call it. I think it's made by fucking Private Select. Delicious. It's spicy as shit, too. So you guys better fucking hold on to your horses. Okay? But they make real good sandwiches. Especially if you want to throw some fucking pepper jack cheese in there. You want to fucking grill that bitch. Throw some butter in the pan. Some real thick ass fucking Texas toast. Ooh. Hey, thank me later, motherfuckers. <laughs> Try it first. All right. Don't take my word for it. This ain't fucking reading rainbow. I'm just keeping it real like a $2 bill. Dolo's coming back right now. He's scratching his asshole. I don't know if he took a shit or he peed. But he's back in the fucking carro like a fucking customs agent. What's up, Tolo? How did it go? 
God damn, that fucking pissed me off like so blind, homie. <laughs> Started singing to me and shit. Huh. It says you took a good trip hey, to garden Isn't that girl. one of the filthiest fucking restrooms you ever went in, bro? Was it dirty right now? No, that motherfucker was fucking clean. Bro, every time I go in there, it's disgusting. Probably because you come on weekends when all the fucking gamblers are <laughs> pissing all over the fucking place, all drunk, <laughs> lost all their money. Huh. I'm the gambler like fucking Kenny Rogers, loco. Hey, dude, I've known some degenerate gamblers in my life. Like, bad gamblers? Yeah, some fool had like 10 Gs saved up to buy a house for a down payment. And what he happened? He lost it all in one night, bro, playing cartas. What the fuck's wrong with people? He's all, fuck, dude, when my wife finds he was all fucking drunk that night. And he was all, when my wife finds out. out. Hey, cocaine's a hell of a drug. He's all, I gotta figure this out, homie. So I'm like, yes, you do, Esse. For real? It's not my problema. He lost 10 Gs? Yeah, dog. See, bro, some people don't get their fucking life together, bro. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yeah, 10 Gs. Hey, what's the most you ever s- lost in a casino? Fuck, like 20, 30 bucks. I don't fucking Yeah, I don't that. fuck around either, bro. Hey, we're in the same boat, man. I've only man. been there a couple times. Fuck that. If I yeah. go, I'll just go drink, whatever. Yeah, bro. Okay, let's say this, because I'm a cheap bastard. Let's say we go inside a casino, and you're like, hey, let's have some fucking drinky drinks. Maybe watch this fucking those free shows they have. Yeah. Let's play some slots or whatever. Play some cards. In my head, I'm already like... I ain't spending more than 20. Yeah, I'm going to spend 20 tops. Now, if I win anything that stays in one pocket, I'll finish spending that 20. But I'm going to keep my winnings. I yeah. like these motherfuckers that are like, oh, shit, man. I'm, I'm probably... I'm going to yeah. get the 10 Gs. Oh, I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to... You know what? This motherfucker's been hot all night. I'm going to fucking keep on fucking pressing... Turning the wheel and shit. And you walk fuck out no. your fucking tail between your legs. Yeah. Right You're not even buzzing anymore. You're so fucking mad. You're fucking know, buzzing away. You go back to the ATM just to fuck that I'm getting that back. Yeah, I'm going to get it back. You don't get it back, bro. You don't know what you can tell your wife when you get home. You don't. Hey, I know a dude who lost a lot at the fucking. What's this casino right here? Horse, wild Horse Pass? No, the other one over here. Casino Arizona? Lone Butte. Oh, Lone Butte. Yeah. They got a big old fucking hamburger. Have you ever had it? Nah. Bro, I swear to God, it'll take me and you to finish that fucking burger. That sounds bomb. It's a bomb-ass, big old fucking crazy burger. Put it together and meet in the middle. It's like the pickle. <laughs> like the big unit, loco. Anywho, he ended up losing a lot of money. So he's depressed about to walk out. I'm not making this shit up. This is a real. I just don't want to mention names. I'll mention names after the podcast. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. He's fucking walking out with his, his fucking hat. Yeah, no, his name wasn't Tolo. But he's walking out of the casino with his hat in his hand. You know what I mean? Oh, like super, like, like fuck, give all, me five bucks for this hat. Yeah, like, he's fucking sad. Well, one of his homeboys, we call him the knight in shining armor, just patted him on the back, bro. I told him, hey, Holmes, go back in there because you're gambling and you're angry. You go in there and you have fun. You have a blast. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about tomorrow. it, bro. Mm-hmm. And you fucking get your money back. And you know what? They stayed in there till the sun came up. And he came back fucking with the He came back, back strong. That's Strong good. made his money back. And he said, I'm never going to fucking put myself in that position again. And he hasn't. That's good, though. He learned his lesson. Did he used to do it a lot or what? Oh, uh, not really. But he just decided to go all fucking all out that night, that I guess. Night he yeah. tried to get all crazy. He tried to get all crazy. Lost his bread. He came back strong, made his money back. Mates. A little more than that. So, he learned his lesson. Now, that being said, not everybody learns their fucking lesson, bro. Nope. The, I know motherfuckers that are bad, bro. Fucking degenerate. Isn't Jesus it? H. fucking Christ. You're like, God, dude, you just got paid, motherfucker. You're going to go to the casino? You just got paid. Because I need to make rent money, Holmes. I lost <laughs> last week. <laughs> They're like, hey, man, I got to pay the cable bill. We're not going to watch that fight on Saturday. Is it? So, what do you want to do, bro? Let's watch it at the casino, Holmes. <laughs> Yeah, man, but... We used to do that a lot when we were kids. Go watch the fights at the casino. casino? Yeah. We used to play them on the big-ass fucking projector They don't screen. do it no more? I don't know. Maybe, but... I know they play it sometimes in the Harkins. Yeah, we Some go. Harkins play it. Well, the casino just used to play it for free. They used to oh, set the okay. thing outside. It was at the Pachanga in Temecula, California. Yeah. And they used to set it hey, outside. Temecula nice? Yeah, it's super nice, bro. You need to go out there. Is it like for... Upper, upper upper class, the upper echelon of the human society is, is Temecula like Scottsdale. Yeah, pretty much. Oh shit! Yeah, with nicer weather. Yeah, you know? hell yeah, Cali has the best fucking weather on the planet. It bro. has the west, the best pleather too. It's <laughs> you're like, straight from you're China. Like it has the west weather. Hey, if I heard there's some chinos. I'm not even bullshitting, bro. They're making a bootleg Roach Clip podcast. <laughs> 
Huh. You're welcome to Roji and Frankie. Starring Loco and Yoizo. Starring Loco and Rorizo. And that'd be funny if somebody did make a bootleg, bootleg Roach, Roach Clip podcast. <laughs> Let's say call it the Roach Lip. The Roach Lip. The Roach Lisp. <laughs> the Roach Lisp. The Roach Lisp like, podcast. This is really crazy. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think we have to close this episode out, you hey, motherfuckers. We're, we're sorry for the fucking half hour you guys lost. At least we gave you guys oh, something right bro, now. Oh, that's kind of sad when you think about if it. If you bro. guys fucking have kids and you guys want to be bilingual, I fucking strongly say, recommend Happy st- Baby, Happy Baby, Palabras and Words. And it's by uh, what publisher? Is there a publisher to these fucking things? I don't know. All those books are the same to me, bro. It says Mi Cara, My Face, and it shows this crazy baby fucking yeah. flipping there's a you lot, off. There's a lot of crazy ones in there, bro. Yeah, so if you guys want to fucking just bow your heads, we're going to say a little prayer for the audience, you know what I mean? Here we go. Tolo's going to go at it again. You know, we're going to just bow our heads and... and um, we First, we'd like to thank you, Lord, for giving us another chance and uh, spit our fucking flavor on these microphones yeah uh we like to fucking thank the audience go fuck fuck the audience uh for them to have a fucking thankful thanksgiving you know fucking chill with family friends drink up smoke up have a fucking good day a good laugh and go fuck yourselves because we're the roast clip podcast and we're we're out. out bitches